Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a really fun and exciting makeup and hair tutorial for you guys. I'm going to be doing both my hair and makeup in this look and it is festival inspired so give this video a thumbs up if you're going to a festival soon. I know Coachella is coming up and a bunch of other festivals throughout the season so I wanted to do a makeup and hair kind of inspired look for you guys in case you are attending one or in case you just want to do something cool like this. So yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look then just give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. Alright you guys, so first we are going to start with our hair and then we'll move on to makeup. This hair is super, super easy but super cute. So right now I'm working with second day curls. So I did curl my hair yesterday, I slept on it and this is kind of the remnants of that. I actually would suggest doing this though for a festival because you kind of want that like unkept look. You don't want to look like you have like perfect curls at a festival, I feel like. I don't know. But yeah, so mine is second day hair. So I'm first going to go in with a dry shampoo. My one that I have been loving recently is this one from Verb. This is their Gentle Cleanse Light Volume Dry Shampoo. And it's like actually, like you actually see the powder and you can like work it through your hair. I really, really like this. I feel like it does a really good job of like cleaning up that oil, making your hair look really, really fresh. Um, but you can still definitely like use your second day hair and have it look beautiful. So love this. I'm going to go in with this. I'm just going to work this in any areas that I have oil. I'm just going to work it in with my fingers. Just really soak up that oil and give me some extra volume up top. And you guys can get Verb hair products on verbproducts.com, but you can also get them on Sephora.com as well. Next, I'm going to section off this top area, kind of like my crown area. About this much of hair, as you guys can see and I'm just going to brush it back. And then I'm just gonna take a ponytail holder that is similar to my hair color. I have it on my wrist right there and kind of pull this all back. So once I have my hair pulled back like this in like a little pony, I'm going to separate the pony like this and then I'm gonna bring it to the front and bring it together and then kind of just like twist it around and make a top knot, like a kind of tight top knot but we're gonna work it out. And then I'm just going to take bobby pins and pin it in place so that it's not going to be moving. So once I have the top knot like this, I like a little looser one. You could leave it like this if this is how you like it, but I like mine to be a little bit looser. So I'm going to kind of pull it apart a little bit and play with it. So once you have your top knot secured and how you kind of want it, I'm going to go in with this bottom portion of my hair and I'm going to use the Verb Sea Salt Spray. I love this. It adds so much texture to your hair without it making it look like crunchy, which I feel like a lot of sea salt sprays can do. So I'm just going to go in and spritz this in the bottom portion of my hair. Ooh, it smells so good too. Oh my god. Another thing that I really like about Verb products as well is that they're actually created by stylists who are looking for like affordable options for their clients but to have like really nice hair. So all of their products are only $14. So it's really nice. Like literally everything in the line is $14. So they are super affordable as well. So once that's in there, I'm just gonna kind of like go through the curls and make them look a little bit messy. And all of Verb's products are cruelty free and they don't have any parabens, any sulfates, or any gluten. So a-okay if you have issues with any of those, they are completely free of that. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is go in with this Verb Ghost Hairspray. This is really, really great because it's a medium pulled hairspray, so it's going to lock your style in. But again, it's not going to make your hair look like super crunchy or anything or like weigh it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to spray this into my roots up here and then we are going to do a little bit of teasing just to give it a little bit extra volume up in there and I am going to spray up here too so that it stays and then like I said just going to go through and do a little bit of teasing. So this is the completed hair. I would suggest the day of the festival at the very least to bring the Verb Dry Shampoo with you and put it in your bag. Just because I know it's probably going to be hot, you'll probably be sweating and a grease ball so this will help to get the grease out of your hair. So I definitely suggest at the very least bringing this along with you. I actually do have a coupon code that I will link down below. I believe it's Verb Fest Hair 16 but check the bottom bar for the exact code but it'll actually get you a free Verb Tote if you do decide to purchase any of their products, not an affiliate code or anything like that. Just a free tote for you guys and it's super cute. Um, I actually have one as well. So yeah, that code will be listed down below in case you're interested. But without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and get into the makeup. Alright you guys, so as you can see my foundation is already done. On a day of a festival, you want to use your go-to products, the products that you know work for your skin because you are going to be outside all day for a very long period of time. So you want to use the products that you know really work 
for you. So I use my go-to face products. I'll leave my foundation routine down below if you haven't seen it, but use whatever you know works for you on that day. Like I said, since you're gonna be wearing this makeup for a long time. So this look is really just gonna focus on the eyes and the lips and we're gonna do like cheek colors and highlight and all that stuff. But foundation, use what you know works for you. So we're first going to align the eyes. I'm gonna go in with this NYC liquid liner. You can get this at Walmart for like three to four dollars. It's just a plain black liquid liner. So I'm just gonna line the eyes first and then I will wing it out. Next, I'm gonna go in with this Pure Minerals Double Ego Dual Sided Liner. I'm gonna use the liquid liner side. That's the pencil liner side. The liquid liner side, it's like a teal liquid liner and I'm going to do another wing right on top of the one that I just created. Now for my lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with this Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil. This one is in the shade Orchid. It's just such a beautiful, bright, vibrant purple color. So I'm going to line my lower lash line with this as well as bring it into my waterline. Then I'm gonna take NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and a tiny little angled brush and I'm going to put some of this on the angled brush. And then I'm going to just outline this wing. And I'm going to outline the inner wing as well. Now I'm going to pop on some lashes. I'm just going to use these Ardell Wispies. I know most people going to a festival probably would not wear lashes, but if I was going to a festival, I would throw on some lashes. These are just kind of like simplistic lashes. I would probably use like wispier, more simplistic glasses, just so you can still see that color that we have going on on the lid. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these on. But if you want more of a wearable, you don't wanna wear lashes, then just pop on some mascara. All right, so now that I have my lashes on, I wanna go in and add some sparkle to my lower lash line. So you'll notice that I'm not wearing any mascara on my lower lashes, and I am gonna keep it that way because I really wanna be able to see the sparkle. So I'm gonna go in with this NYX, what is this called? Their Liquid Crystal Liner, and this is in the color Crystal Pewter. And I'm going to put this on top of the purple liner that we have on our lower lash line. Now for blush, I just wanted to do something neutral, so I'm gonna go in with Max Margin Blush. And then for highlight, I'm gonna use Mary Luminizer from The Bomb. I'm just going to put this on the tops of my cheeks. We look nice and glowy. And I'm also gonna bring it down the bridge of my nose, right above my cheeks as well. For lips, I'm gonna go in with Max Snob. Then I'm just gonna go in with Liplands Cosmetics Lip Gloss in It's French right over that. Now I'm gonna take NYX's Jumbo Pencil in Milk that we used before to kind of outline the wing and I'm going to draw little circles that kind of outline where my eyebrows are. So yeah, this is the completed festival makeup and hair look. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It was definitely out of my comfort zone, but I had a lot of fun filming it for you guys. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below if you have not already. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.